Okay, who of you out there hates packing your makeup and your beauty products to travel? Yes. That is my least favorite part of going on vacation. When it comes to makeup and skincare and body care products, I either end up doing one of two things. Either I end up throwing in most of my full size products because I really wanna take the products that are currently working for me and my beauty bag looks like this, or I end up going through my random box of samples like this and pulling out things that I've never tried before and thinking that should work fine on me. And then I get on vacation and either the climate's different or just from travel, my skin reacts or my hair does crazy things. My body doesn't love the body wash I brought. <laughs> and then you're on vacation and you're like, oh, I just don't feel like myself. So I have taken on that challenge and I'm going to help us find a better way because up until now, I really have not felt like I had a good system. So I am going to take all that jumbled mess that you saw and we are gonna turn it into an organized grouping of products. So when I get to my destination, which is my brother's house in Georgia, I'm gonna open up my beauty bag and I'm going to smile because everything is going to be very well organized and I'm going to have all of my favorite things. So if you're new here, be sure you hit that subscribe button and now let's get started. All right, so to start off with, you absolutely can go on a hunt and see if your favorite skincare, body care, hair care products come in a travel size. That is always an option, but it's not necessarily the most economical option, especially if you do a lot of traveling or if you're traveling over an extended period of time. Paula's Choice has almost all of their skincare products available in a travel size, which is great. But I already took this little travel size to the mountains for a couple days, so I'm not exactly how sure how much product is left in here. Also, every one of these cute little containers is going to cost you probably four to six dollars, unless you're getting something free with purchase. So it's not always the most economical. Now, something else I've done in the past is I've gone through my little basket of all these travel shampoos and conditioners, and once I used them, then I would recycle them and just pour in maybe my favorite shampoo. Well, what happens is, uh, you know, two years later, because it's been like two years since I've done a lot of traveling, I open this up and I'm like, what, what shampoo did I put in here? I have no idea. And so I started like just adding on top. I thought, oh, that's no big deal. Well, then I would have containers like this that I would write on with a Sharpie and, you know, through use it would wear off. And I would go, is this body lotion? Is it conditioner? Is it body wash? What is it? And then the product inside sometimes after two years, it's gonna get like really gross and it can go rancid. So for this trip, I'm changing things up and I'm hoping this is kind of the dawn of a new day. <laughs> so I first went on Amazon after doing lots of research for different containers and all kinds of things. And I found a set of 12 of these cute little jars and they have a wonderful plastic stopper in there, which is going to help, hopefully, most of your liquidy items, like things like oils and things like that, it's going to keep them really nice and tight and allow things, hopefully, not to leak. Also, what I did when I bought that set, I purchased a set, and I don't even know how many labels are in here. I'll show you the labels all done. But I purchased labels and this pen, which are supposed to be waterproof and I'm going to handwrite labels for everything. And if there's a, a question of a certain brand, I'm even putting the brand on there just so I will know next time I travel what I put in there. Also for shampoo, conditioner, lotion, that's so much easier to use a pump and I'm gonna need more product, I found a set of these airless pumps that you can reuse. And these are a full ounce of product, which doesn't seem like a lot, but for my hair for a week on body wash and all that, I feel like that's gonna be sufficient. So again, I use those labels here. And so now comes the task of putting all of the product in these containers. So let's get started.
I'm going to show you what I do if I'm going to bring perfume. I do love this one from Burberry Her because it is a small travel size and it has a spray. It is glass, however, so I have to be careful how I pack this. I'm probably still going to bring it. But what I love to do is go to Sephora and get a sample of perfume and then use that sampler, that sample bottle that they give you and just refill it with my favorite. So I love the Brazilian Crush 71, especially for summer. So I'm just going to add a little more of that in here and I will have actually two perfume options for travel. All right, so as we went along, you noticed that I even went so far as to put Enjoy Dry Wax in a smaller container because I mean, when it comes down to it, that's quite a difference in space that it's taking up. Now, one thing that I decided to do because while it's perfectly acceptable and this is how I've always carried my cotton balls and cotton pads and Q-tips, I decided I don't wanna see this bag when I open up my, my nice little case here. So instead, I have the Q-tips, the travel Q-tips, and then I decided to put seven of the cotton pads in one of these Q-tip holders. So I'm just upcycling, as they say, and you can't really fit a whole lot in this little compartment, but this is enough for me because usually on a regular basis, I don't need a cotton pad but every once in a while I do. And since I decided to bring my 2% BHA liquid exfoliant instead of the gel, sometimes I like to use this with a cotton pad. Sometimes I just put it on my hands and apply it. So I thought that would be good just to have those cotton pads just in case. Now I did choose to put my toner in this glass bottle. I don't love to bring this glass bottle, but it is a really good sprayer. It has a really good cap on it. I love that it is this amber bottle. So it helps keep what's inside of it a little fresher. Another thing you can do is actually just use one of the travel size setting spray bottles that you may have in your collection. I do love this bottle, but the cap does not stay on. It drives me crazy. So I've chosen not to bring that one this time. Now, as far as travel size products that I'm actually going to bring instead of the full size. Instead of bringing my full size Catwalk Root Boost, I'm going to bring the travel size Sexy Hair. This is the Big Root Pump Plus. And this also comes in a lighter version. So this particular one is for medium to coarse hair, which is what I have. And then the regular version is for kind of fine to medium hair. This I know works well for my hair and the size difference I thought it was worth taking this instead of my full size. Another thing that I'm substituting instead of taking my stylus liquid treatment, I'm gonna take this itty bitty little tiny verb ghost oil. Again, something I've used before. I know it works similarly, adds a little moisture and shine, but it's obviously a tiny little package and this will be sufficient for me. Now, while my favorite hairspray is still not available in a travel size. I keep wondering why Aussie does not make this in a travel size, at least in the aerosol version. One thing I do is when I get down to where there's only like maybe, I'm guessing, maybe about this much in the bottle, I will stop using that and start using my new bottle. And then when I travel, even though the size is still huge, it's not as heavy as the full size bottle. However, this time I am also bringing another hairspray that has been working wonders for me here on windy, hot, humid days. And so I'm gonna give it a try in Georgia as kind of a finishing spray and it's the Bedhead Masterpiece. This does come in a travel size. So I'm gonna get the travel size and bring that with me. I also have a small travel size of the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. So instead of taking my huge one, I'm taking this and my eye cream from Paula's Choice. I wouldn't mind taking the full size. I did cut this tube open though because I could not squeeze any more out. And oh my goodness, you would not believe how much was in the bottom of that tube still. This is after probably five days after I've cut it. So there is so much product in these tubes. Make sure you cut them open. But I don't wanna take a tube like this traveling, so I'm gonna take the travel size eye cream. I am bringing my coconut oil because I just know this removes all the rest of my eye makeup. 
And then I am going to have to bring this full size body sunscreen. I know my brother and sister-in-law will probably have something, but I just like what I like. And this is super easy and convenient and it does have a locking cap so it won't spray and get all over my luggage. The final two things that I would recommend possibly bringing if you're staying in a hotel or an Airbnb or some place that you're not sure how clean it might be, you know me, I'm a germaphobe. One thing I have done, and I've done this for years, even since I traveled in the 90s, is I take a little bit of Dawn dish soap, the one that is antibacterial, and I keep this in, this is just an old Bath & Body Works travel lotion bottle, and I take this with me because in a hotel, you might want to wash out glasses or I use this for my hand soap because I don't like using bar soap for my hands. So one recommendation to take along with you. And the other one, I started doing this when, two years ago when I was traveling and we were all like panicked about germs. And I put some Windex antibacterial solution in one of these bottles. I made sure to label it. But then when I get somewhere, if I want to sanitize a surface, I could spray it down with this and then wipe it off. So just another little tidbit, you can also fold up Clorox wipes and put them in a Ziploc bag and take those. That's what I was doing. But you know, during that time period, we couldn't find Clorox wipes. So that's what I started doing and it also worked well. All right, now I'm going to go back to my beauty room and I am going to put together my travel makeup. And let me just tell you, the sun might be down by the time I come up with this, but we are gonna come up with a good plan and I will share it with you. All right, I had a feeling it would be after sundown by the time I finished, and it is. My husband came home, we had to have dinner, and then I needed to wash and clean some brushes. So now I am finally done, and I'm gonna walk you through just briefly what I chose to pack makeup-wise and for brushes. And then tomorrow, when I have really good light, I'll do an overview of my newly packed little bag. So as far as, let's start with brushes first. So first I would recommend that you do a quick clean of the brushes that you're going to take because chances are while you're on vacation, you're not going to be having a chance or wanting to have to wash your brushes. So you want to start off with good clean brushes. And one of the best things that I have ever purchased, and it was only, I believe eight or $9 on Amazon, was a brush roll. This is the back of it. It did come in different colors. It's just a vinyl, but I have found this to be the easiest way to take all of the brushes that I need. And you know, I am very particular. I like to have options. And this just allows me to bring all of my eye brushes, my face brushes, and even a couple of extras if I want to. What is also great is this has a cover that goes over the top of your brushes and then you roll it up and it is so easy to pack and I don't have to worry about the bristles getting damaged. Even in a brush cup, because I've used those to travel, your brushes can go back and forth and they can get damaged or the bristles kind of rub up against each other. So I have just found this to be the best way. It's super lightweight, so it's just the weight of whatever brushes you're bringing. Roll this up, I tie it up. Usually I'll put it in my carry-on because I don't want to be without my tools. So just in case luggage gets lost, I will at least have my wonderful tools. Now on to makeup. And as I mentioned earlier, selecting both skincare products and makeup products is always a challenge. And in the past, what always happens is I look through my collection and I pull out all these little mini makeup items and I'm like, oh yes, I'm gonna take the smallest things I have and I'm only gonna bring you know, one blush and one bronzer and I think I can get away with one eyeshadow palette. And then I get to my destination and Either it's just not quite exactly what I need or I haven't used those products and I forgot how they perform or don't perform. So what I would recommend is go through your collection and if you're somebody like me who has lots of options, go ahead and choose the items that you think you wanna take. 
a couple of days ahead of time and then use those products over the next couple of days before you leave and make sure that those are the colors, the formulas, etc. Because also what can happen with these small things that we don't use, they can go bad over time. So you don't want to get to your destination and pull out something that is actually rancid or that is not no longer good to use. All right, let me show you. I have fit basically everything in here except for my lip products. I never pack my lip products. I always put those in my purse. And there may be a couple of items like concealer and powder that I pull out of here and take with me on the plane. But I wanted to challenge myself and see if I could get most all of my makeup items in here. And I think I did. So let me show you what I decided to do. First off, I have on top here a couple of new powder puffs I just purchased off Amazon. They're that super soft velvet, but they have a nice point. So these will be great. I'm bringing three. I'm bringing one for just under the eyes and then two, one that I can use to set the face and one that I could use midday if I need to touch up, you know, with oils. Now for foundation, in a recent video, I mentioned the Bare Pro Powder Foundation. I am taking this one, but I am also taking the liquid version because this one is another that I feel like holds up really well. And I wanna see if it does hold up as well as I think it will in the humidity. Now the shades that I have here work for me kind of at various stages of my sunless tanner. But by the end of the week, I might be a little too pale, even for this one. And so I am including in a foundation mixer. This is not something you need unless you're going to be tan or a different color than you start off to be. So this is one from NYX that they don't make anymore, but LA Girl has some. But this, I can add in a drop to the foundation. It won't change the consistency, but will just lighten up the color a little bit if I need to. As far as powders go, <laughs> so it's another challenge. So I decided to bring my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder for under the eyes. And then to set my face, my most long lasting and really oil absorbing powder that I have is the Becca Hydra Mist. Now I have a travel size container, so I just put a little bit of that. I know that powder is not available anymore, but I'm also bringing the Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil because I like this with the Bare Pro Foundation. I also like it for touch-ups. And then in my purse, I'm going to a humid climate. I know this is a lot of powder, but in my purse, I am bringing this Clinique. This is the universal blotting powder. I am testing this out a few days before I go to make sure that this really works, but I know that I'm going to need something in my purse for travel day and beyond to combat oil. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, next, I'm just going to go with kind of what's right here on top. Next, as far as mascaras go, it probably seem, serves as no surprise that I happen to have an IT Cosmetics Superhero travel size. And then I also happen to have a travel size of the Lancome Sills Booster XL. This is another mascara primer that I love. I'm also going to throw in my Ilia travel size mascara. This is the volumizing one. I also know I love this, but sometimes I just like to have a mixture of mascara is kind of just options. And then for the, the lower lashes, this is kind of a risk, but I have been using it. I used it again today and no smudging, no flaking, and it's the Maybelline Snap Scara. So this is a tubing mascara and this is the waterproof version. So I'm gonna have the opportunity to test it with water because we're supposed to go to the pool one day. So that is what I'm taking for mascara. For brows, I am only taking the NYX Precision Brow Pencil in taupe and my Merit Brow Pomade in blonde. Of course, my eyelash curler. And then another challenge was what concealer combo to bring. Again, different climate, my tone of my skin's gonna be changing. So I did make sure I'm throwing in my really, really good color corrector. This is the NARS one. For concealer, I chose the slightly lighter shade of the Revlon 5-in-1 concealer. So this is 040, but I'm also going to bring my darker shade of the Clinique even better, just in case I need a slight little bit more concealing or I need to change the color under the eyes. I just feel like maybe by having two formulas and two different colors, we'll cover all the bases. 
For eyeliner, I love how my liner turned out today. I love the whole eye look. And so I'm like, I wanna make sure I can recreate this. So I'm putting in my Kiko Milano dual ended eye pencil. I'm also throwing in my House Labs. This one is in Burn, which is kind of a warm toned brown shade, kind of a, kind of a rusty brown shade. And then I'm using my Stila Stay All Day pencil, and this is in the shade Spice. And you can see it's just slightly darker and a little more of a burgundy tone than the House Labs one. And then of course I am throwing in a black, and this is the It Cosmetics Superhero. Super smudgeable, but it sets and stays all day for me. As far as a shadow pencil, just for that extra insurance, I chose to bring the Bobbi Brown Shadow Stick in the shade Golden Pink. This I love as a base on the eyelids. I pencil sharpener, just bring in the small one. It's always good to bring, because I know I'm gonna need it if I don't bring it. As far as bronzer goes, I am choosing just one. This is the Viseart Bronzer. This is a great, bronzer shade and it is just so easy to apply. It's also very lightweight in this cardboard packaging and I know it's a formula that I love. I don't want to risk bringing one of my really super nice ones like my Gucci bronzer. Those are the kinds of products that you want to leave at home. Those things that if your luggage got lost, you would really be sad and cry lots of tears because you can't afford to replace those items. So this is one I actually got off a boxy pop-up sale. So it is a nice product, but I didn't have to pay an arm and a leg for it. All right, before I get to the eyeshadow, let me show you the other face products. So I chose to bring three different face palettes because these are all super thin and it gives me all the options I'm going to need. As I was looking at these, I thought, you know what? This helps me not have to make a decision of exactly what blush color I'm gonna wear every day. So the first one is the Corda Rosa blush palette from Sigma. I mean, this has all the colors that I'm gonna need. I love this formula. I've used this a lot. Likewise, the Glow Kissed Highlighter Palette has all of the highlighter shades that I could possibly need. I mean, probably there's only about three in here that I'm going to use on a regular basis, but I have them all. And again, the packaging is not really super heavy. And then finally for contour, I knew this like weeks ago, I knew this was what I was going to bring and it's the Lorac Pro Contour Palette. This hands down is my favorite contour palette and it is the most versatile, it's perfect for travel. Not only do I have three contour options, so depending on how tan my skin is or not, but it also has these two highlighting matte shades which I have come to really appreciate because you can use these to help touch up if you get a little out of control with contour or if your brows aren't like even or they're looking a little dark, you can use one of those powders to lighten them up. So it's one of those things that helps you correct possible mistakes that you make when you're in a hurry, which I always seem to be when I'm doing my makeup and I'm traveling. All right, so last thing in this makeup bag, not including one of the lipsticks I'm bringing, but is the eyeshadow and this is always so hard for me you know you know how much i love eyeshadow i mean if i could i would probably bring like 10 palettes <laughs> but i'm not doing that so i'm bringing three and i'm going to explain so, so first off i'm going to show you where i started and i started with my viseart palette so i'm going to show you these four viseart palettes and what is so great about these viseart palettes is you can remove each one of these pans and move and mix them between your palettes. So I had a lot of fun creating my own palette between all four of those palettes. And this is what I came up so, with. I feel like all of these are going to work well and I can create any number of looks, including the one I'm wearing now, even though I didn't use this palette to create this look. But then I thought, you know, it might be nice just to have a couple extra options because I just, I have not planned out my wardrobe yet. So that's part of the problem. But I know that there are times where I gravitate towards either a little green in my look 
or I want something that has a little more reddish purple tones or a little more pink. So I chose the Natasha Denona Mini Crush Palette. This is just a fun palette. It's so tiny, it's easy to throw in. And then this one, mostly because of the greens, I just love this shade. It's so pretty. But then I also love these peachy pinks and the sparkle shade. So it gives me a little bit of variety, even if I might not end up needing it. And it's just this. This is all the eyeshadow that I'm bringing. It's not real heavy, but I have every color I'm gonna need. A lot of people would throw in a black eyeshadow, but I feel like because I have the black eyeliner, I'm not gonna need a black eyeshadow. That is everything that is in my little makeup bag here. As far as lips go, this is always really hard for me to narrow down. Now, a couple of things that I like to do is bring at least two or three lip liners. So this is Deep Mauve and Medium Brown from Smashbox. I know these are super long wearing, but I'm also going to include a couple of twist up liners just in case I can't get them sharpened always good to have some twist ups. And then a couple of the glosses that I know for sure I'm bringing are the Beauty Counter Bare Shimmer, the Kiko Milano, this is the shade 04. It's what I'm wearing over the lipstick here today. And then one of the new Maybelline Vinyl Ink, Super Stay Vinyl Inks. This is in Cheeky. I just know on travel day, sometimes it's really nice to put on one of these long wearing lipsticks or glosses or products. I'm also going to bring two shades of the CoverGirl lipstick. I'm bringing Amazing Petal and then Elegant Nude. I do love these combined and I like them individually. And then I believe I'm gonna also include this Kiko Unlimited Stylo because it's a really nice nude option. I will probably add in a couple of MAC lipsticks and maybe my Buxom Celeste lip gloss. Those are in my purse right now, but I just, I just like options. That's just who I am. So, so now I will insert the clip of what my newly packed bag looks like. And compared to where we started, I think I made huge gains because when we started, everything in that bag was just hair and skincare and body care. That did not include any makeup. So now we've got makeup, we've got everything except for the hairspray and the body sunscreen. Those I'll put in a Ziploc bag and in my suitcase, but everything else, we've got it nice and neat and everything's going to stay secure. Now the bags that I'm using, I forgot to mention up front, but these are from Allie Glines. If you're not familiar with her, she has a YouTube channel here. Her and her husband, they're really young, but they started making these makeup bags and I I think they're really great. I have traveled with them. And this is one of the options that I've chosen to use this time. In the past, I will link down below another really great travel makeup bag. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that it was helpful for you, that the tips that I provided along the way were insightful. Be sure to check the description box below. I will have the containers from Amazon that I purchased and the labels as well as links for the makeup bags and anything else organizationally that I showed you or talked about today. I will try to find those and link those down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you are traveling, I hope that you have a wonderful, safe trip, and I will see you again next time. Bye.